Hi guys, I'm Manuela, your host on this YouTube channel, mainly focused on theatrical makeup, character making and basically how to extend your creativity. So in today's video, I'm going to present you how to use latex embellishments, which are very easy to add on. And as well, if you like my headpiece, you can go visit my Etsy shop, which will be linked down below for further details. So if you like this look, just stay with me for the next video. These are latex embellishments made from liquid latex and decorated with acrylic paints, rhinestones and pearls. They are very light and as well they are very easy to apply with a duo glue. Make sure you follow a face chart as a map to your project. Here are as well some details of my totally handcrafted headpiece which is very light to wear and still very sturdy, absolutely stunning and is also made with artificial flowers and latex embellishments as well with an old necklace. So firstly, I'm going to glue out my eyebrows and then I'm going to start building all my makeup. So once the glue is completely dried, try to remove the excess with a near pad with micellar water in it. Because I'm going to use that face art which I've shown you previously, I'm going to go with the glam makeup on my eyes and on my neck and part of my body and on the rest of my face, I'm going to go with some body paint. To completely cover my eyebrows, I'm going to use Supra Color from Krylon. To set up the first layer, I'm going to use as well Cryolan Translucent Powder, which is a very, very nice one. And I'm going to go as well with the sponge, which is slightly wet. There are so many ways to cover your eyebrows and actually I suppose it is up to you uh, which one do you prefer or which one suits you best. I've tried so many and I think this one works the best for me. So the second layer of uh, to cover my eyebrows will be classic foundation. And for this one I'm going to use NARS in Deville shade. I really like this product because it has a very high coverage and it stays matte. When I say high coverage, I'm not um, really thinking of a camouflage product, but more like a, a beauty product used mainly for you at home to be beautiful every day. So I'm gonna go on top of them. Try to dab all the product in your skin. You don't want to blend it like a regular blend. Now I'm going to press the foundation into the skin, okay, better, and then with another layer of powder, I'm going to set all the makeup in. I'm going to use the same powder. And then I'm gonna start drawing my mask, which will be kind of like this. Okay, for this one I'm using NYX uh, FWL04 Lavender Blush, which is a very nice uh, pencil with a fine like smooth texture okay and as well I'm going to follow all the details in my face art which they will be kind of like this okay, my skin. 
the music so just now when I'm doing this video which really annoys me it doesn't have to be a very precise drawing uh, no this is one of my favorite concealers out there which is also from NARS and is called Nougatine and yeah probably everyone already knows this product because it's very very famous Radiant Creamy Concealer although I really like it I wouldn't call it radiant or creamy so it's kind of powdery probably because the shade is kind of too bright and as brighter as the shade gets as powdery the product is if it makes sense most of the time I'm using a sponge because it's way easier but because in this particular case I'm gonna follow this drawing I have look it covers very very nicely so it is a very good in terms of coverage as well uh, this product okay so you don't really need to be super precise but you have to follow the drawing so it is way easier to use a brush instead of a sponge in my opinion in this case only okay try to tap the product into the eyebrows it's very important before the product is actually set in to top it not to blend it or do circle moves or something very very important because if you if you want to go with some shades here and you need to blend them then definitely the eyebrows they have to be very good set in so yeah try to tap the product as an eye base i'm gonna use p louise rumor 02 which i i think is the most popular one using the same cryolan translucent powder i'm setting all my creamy products already used into my skin because this kind of work is really uh, more complex than a regular glam makeup and you have to add so many layers meaning face art and body paint then the headdress and all they come together uh, you have to really think of uh, all the steps you have to do so if I'm to start now with the face art then definitely it will be way harder to do all my makeup and all my body paint so for me it works to start with the eyes and then with the body paint and actually the last step is to put on my face art so definitely if you want to like try this kind of stuff uh, see how it is working for you but definitely this way works better for me so for the eyes I'm gonna go with a glammy eye look and I'm gonna use the colors used as well on my headpiece and on my face art. I'm gonna go with the flow and just create a glam makeup. So Try to tap the crease here if you see some product already creased in okay I'm gonna start with a black eyeliner gel because this one is kind of one of my favorite techniques because it gives you the opportunity to work with many layers and to have a very very bold makeup looks for my makeup looks I really like to extend as much as possible the eye shape mm -hmm. 
Okay, very important step while you're working this kind of techniques is actually to blend it out very, very well. Don't leave any edges that might look like a failed blend or something unwanted. So this will be kind of my darkest part of the makeup. And and of course, because it is a creamy product, you have to set it in. So I'm gonna use a black shade from Makeup Revolution as well a white shade. So I'm gonna double tap in each one and to obtain like a gray shade. Okay, black and white become gray. This one is an Aqua Cream Makeup Forever 07 shade, which is a quite electric pink. And I'm gonna go with a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, and on top of it, I'm gonna have some super shimmery pigment from Inglot. So when you use a pigment, and you want to make it even more shimmery than actually it is to become more metallic, you can use as well makeup fixer or as well you can have it on top of something creamier and definitely you will have a slightly different texture. Okay, this one I'm using is with a makeup fixer, Mist and Fix from MAC, which actually is one of my favorite fixers out there on top of a white eyeliner 76 from Inglot I'm gonna go with something shimmery turquoise I'm gonna have here just a bit tiny amount I'm gonna go with a very greenish mint shade from NYX which has this mermaidish effect and again with the pink one just to blend it very very nicely and we're gonna go with the lower part try to make sense here on the outside corner of the eye so when you try to extend your eyes, try not to have a gap around gap here, okay? Blend out the product, the eyeliner, the eyeliner gel. The eyeliner gel I'm using is the one from Ila Masca, which I find the best, which I find the best out there. Um, because it's, again, easier to work with and it doesn't dry out I'm gonna start with pink and then I'm gonna add some turquoise here the turquoise pigment from Inglot is Amy, Amy C128 and I'm gonna Add it as well with a makeup fixer, same from MAC. So for the wet part of my eyes, I'm gonna use uh, NYX SL12 Azul. I'm gonna add some black eyeliner. And try to play with the upper shade. Then with some pink eyeshadow.
To create this pearly iridescent effect, you have to switch the colors in between. So once you go pink, then go green and again pink and so on, you have to kind of see how they look on, on a real sh uh, shell or pearl or and follow the idea of what nature gave us. Okay, and then the other side. the eyelashes I'm gonna use these ones from Bilk Hales um, they are called Boss uh, and they are mink I'm gonna add them first in the middle and then in the outside corner And I'm gonna add as well some mascara, which this one is Mega Multiplier from, from Revlon. I suppose this texture isn't what you expect from a mascara, but I mostly use it on top of, uh, while using eyelashes. I don't really use it if I'm not wearing eyelashes. And now we're gonna add some details. I'm using a Meron Precious Gem Powder in uh, Tiger's Eye uh, shade, which is kind of a bronzy, bronzy powder. I'm gonna spread some, but you can use as well anything that makes this product smoother. To add some fine details and now I'm gonna start building the rest of my makeup in meaning uh, the lower side of my neck and the other side of my face and I'm gonna blend some Ben Nye Clown White with a tiny amount of black eyeliner and to obtain a grey Try to follow as much as possible the contour you have done previously. I'm gonna add some contour around my grey area as well as some bigger cracks and to obtain the bigger cracks I'm gonna start with a slightly shading of uh, greys and whites. Another thing about this kind of shading is for you to stay symmetric as possible as you can but in the end is all about your creativity and how do you see your character. So this is not like um, body paint, classic body paint or cosplay uh, what, when you want to create a certain character. This is more like for you to play and as well to kind of find your way of creating other characters than the one uh, ex already existent and remember that when you want to create contrast there you have 
a shadow and the shadow will be followed by a light and then again shadow try to add as well some light and here okay Try to add some extra dimension to your body art by shading your cracks with a darker grey shade. You can add as well some details on your face. To add all the golden details which I've already added around my eyes, I'm going to use a combo of Magic Primer from Atelier Paris with Tiger Eye Meron which is a very nice bronzy pigment, very very easy to work with. As well, I'm going to add some details with a very black eyeliner from collection which is very easy to work with and very precise and our last layer will be uh, the face art part and I'll be applying them with not a special glue but with duo glue starting with the middle I'm gonna apply this part exactly from uh, applying um, regular eyelashes Remember that latex embellishments are quite flexible and very easy to work with. Now I'm adding as well rhinestones to complete all my mask. So this is kind of the amount needed of duo to actually uh, put in place your face art. But remember that if it doesn't really work or um, the part is too big like the one in my nose which it has to be curved you have to use prosade so for this one i've used a prosade and it still still is i'm kind of struggling with the size but definitely if you use prosade you will achieve your result For those of you who don't know yet, Pros 8 is a professional glue used mainly on theatrical makeup, ball caps and when you really need a very sticky glue. And my final piece of the puzzle will be some extra white eyeliner and of course the lips. Now this is totally optional. For the lips I'm using Everlasting Liquid Lipstick from Kat Von D in the shade Dagger. As well I'm gonna add some extra fine details with my white eyeliner from Collection. So guys this will be my final look for my uh, Carnival Arlequin with the statement Headpiece. If you like to see more of these kind of tutorials, just consider subscribing to my channel. If you like to see how these head dresses are made, you can go visit my Etsy shop, which will be linked down below. Thank you again for watching and until the next Thursday, stay safe, hugs and kisses. This is Manuela, your host on this YouTube channel, mainly focused on theatrical makeup and character making.